In this video, we're going to look at two ways that you can really personalize your experience with ChatGPT. The first is called custom instructions. And I, I, I seldom see people referring back to this anymore. It was a really interesting uh, addition to ChatGPT last year. And, and since then, I think people have forgotten about it. So to access it, click on your profile on the top right corner and then go to customize ChatGPT. And you've got two sections here you can leverage. One is your custom instructions. What would you like ChatGPT to know about you to respond better? You can put information about who you are, what work you do, what are your interests, more a bit about you and your personality, your style. Then you've got how would you like ChatGPT to respond? And in this section, you can request how you would like the output of ChatGPT. Say you just tired of ChatGPT with its long winded explanations. You could just say, you know, really just get to the point, simple, clean, even bullet points, if that's your preferred method of output. I've got always use Australian spelling because it defaults back to the US. And there's another really cool tip you could put in here. And this is commands. So what I've got is something like this. When I use the command and I indicate that by simply putting it in the square brackets, I'm use, asking you to clean up a sentence or paragraph for an email so that it flows and it's grammatically correct. And this just means that when I'm in a chat, I could just put clean in those brackets and then my sentence or paragraph and the AI will know what it needs to do. It's almost like a little mini prompt built into the back end of it. But it, it just helps me not have to type out the whole sentence again and again. So you can actually put in a few of these really interesting commands here. Now you may wonder, why do I not have any custom instructions? And that is because of the second feature that ChatGPT now has called memories. And I find memories are much more effective and you can actually manage your memories over time. So let's have a look at how you can get to your memories. Again, we're just going to exit out of this area, click on your profile in the top right, go to settings and then personalization. Now, if you don't have memory turned on, you will need to enable it. And what will happen is as you're engaging with ChatGPT, it'll just start storing little snippets of information based on your conversations with it. And over time, it just develops this comprehensive memory of you, the work that you do, your likes, your preferences, and can be really valuable in personalizing your experience. But sometimes you may be using ChatGPT and it memorizes something that is completely irrelevant for who you are and the work that you're doing. So you can click on this manage button. And in here, you will actually find all of the memories that ChatGPT has stored about you. Kyle is connecting with people on LinkedIn who contributed to the responsible AI adoption in philanthropy report. Kyle is looking for more memorable domain for his intro to AI ebook. So you can see all of these little memories are stored. And as it remembers more and more information about you, the more it can personalize this experience. So you can clear this ChatGPT memory if you would like to completely start from scratch. And there's one last thing just to keep in mind. If you would like to use a chat without leveraging these memories, just click on the model on the top left and go to temporary chat. So when you use a temporary chat, it won't use any of the memories, nor will it store any new memories. So these are ways that you can help personalize your experience with ChatGPT to make it more comfortable and make it more personalized to who you are. As always, any questions, please feel free to ask. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.